Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and I am here to assemble our octagon treat box die for you today. So hey, so this is our octagon treat box. So what you want to do is you want to cut out two of the main box pieces. You want to cut out a handle and a, like the front layer. Now I've made this in the past. You can make this into critters. I've made that numerous times, but right now I'm just assembling the box so you can see how to put the box together and not decorate it um, for anything other than just as itself. So easy stuff. So this is Paper Trank white cardstock and I'm using um, Paper Trank's textile funky town um, pattern paper to decorate the front. That's that little uh, hexagon that goes on the front. So I will quickly apply this tape to all the tabs. Now, obviously, um, what um, a little Halloween face or jack-o'-lantern face comes with this set. So you could cut this in orange and make yourself an adorable little jack-o'-lantern, obviously. And I've done that in the past. Also, we have our critter add-ons, our Christmas add-ons, our Halloween add-ons, our... Um, what else? Halloween add-ons, our Valentine add-ons. There's lots of add-ons that go with this set. Super good to have in your arsenal to make treats. And the nice thing is, is you could put a little gift in this, you could put treats in this, and the same thing goes for everything I've said on um, making these videos. You can use this for a wedding shower, you could use it for a wedding treat, you could make it for a gift for someone, you could have it um, all different types of showers, you can, you know, have little takeaway treats in these. Um, just lots of fun. You could put a gift card in here that would fit. A little tiny, like like jewelry, earrings, necklaces, anything like that would be super cute in this little box. I think making these for a class would be fun too. Now, all my die cutting today was done with my Gemini machine as per usual. That's kind of my deal. Now I'm putting a piece on the inside of the bottom flap of one of them. So like I said, this is super easy stuff. It just looks fiddly. It's not. Once you do this once, it's, it's really easy to put together. Trust me. So I'm going to quickly apply this red line tape. So I guess I'll talk about something else while I do this. Jaded Blossom has tons of adorable treat boxes and bags and, you know, they are a treat related company. That's kind of what they first went into. They forayed into like candies and treats. So they have a lot of different products they, that you can use uh, or get from Jada Blossom to make these things. Lots, like they've got clear bags that they sell. They've got little treat containers that they sell. Um, obviously they have all of these treat dyes that they sell, um, all different types. They also have stamp sets that go along with a lot of these um, treats that you can, you know, decorate your treats with stamps. You can make tags for those treats. They kind of just really rock the treats, Jada Blossom. Now, obviously, you know, I make cards with Jada Blossom stuff more than I make treats. That's true. But they really do excel at the treat game. And that's basically what this is. So I just wanted to build, uh, you know, all of these treats for you so you can see how easy it is to make these treat containers. Not difficult at all. So I like to stick, make sure my red line tape is stuck down well with my Teflon bone folder. It just makes it easier to peel off the release paper. Now I'm going to quickly fold this on all the score lines. And um, that way it just makes it easier to put together. So you just wanna, I like to do my red line tape, then fold all the score lines for you. I missed the bottom flap on that one, but you know, it works. There we go, fold all these in, and then we will peel the tape off these little tabs and then start assembling these guys. So like really easy stuff. I like to do, this these treat boxes in like a nice solid cardstock but you could liter literally have cut this out of pattern paper and saved the need to to put a layer like an accenting layer on top and then you would have been done like you know you could do whatever you'd like really I think using a fun um, pattern for a holiday would be cute too so there we go peeling off all my red line tape this is all in real time. I did not speed this up. So this is how long it took me um, to put this together. You know, right from the beginning. There we go. Not including die cutting time, right? Because I did that already. So I already folded in one. 
Let's do the other one. Peel off all my little red line tape pieces and then we will assemble this side of the box. There we go. So fun stuff and easy. This is not hard. Now you want to attach the sides. So you're just going to literally stick the tab to the corresponding side right next to it. There we go. Now we're all set. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other one. Whoops. There we go. I already did that. I'm losing my mind. Okay, you're going to want to line up this little folded side with the unfolded side. So there you go. I'm going to line up my little edges. It's not difficult. There we go, because it's in three different three different tabs. So you can sort of work your way around the corner and do the same thing on this side. So easy stuff. Now you'll notice that there are little holes at the top of this box. You could put a string through there. You could put brads through there and attach the little handle like I do, or you could stick the handle down on the inside. You can do whatever you like, or you could just skip it and not use it at all. That's totally up to you. So now I'm going to fold in my flap. I just have the um, red line tape on the one flap. So you just wanna fold that in and keep it nice and square. Line up your edges so it doesn't get wonky. There we go, and we will flatten that down. So like I said, Paper Trank makes a great thick card stock um, for these little treats. So now I'm using my Teflon bone folder just to kind of bend my um, Hawaiian Shores Paper Tray Ink card stock. That's the handle. And I just want to like sort of bend it so it doesn't get kind of like um, folded looking, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on this handle and I'm going to put it on the outside and I'm going to use these brads. Remember these brads from back in the day? This is perfect. They, it's exactly perfect for this. So you pull out those brads. These are nice big ones. I don't even know what the uh, the company, they might be We Are Memory Keepers, but uh, don't quote me on that. But you know, everyone has these brads in their stash. So, so these are just white brads. And there you go. So now I will pull that pattern piece of paper from that Funky Town pad from um, Paper Tray Ink. And I'm going to use my ATG tape to apply to the front of this. There we go. And then I'm going to pop that down. Oops, right there. Pop that down onto the front of my little treat box. So there we go. So it's a super cute little treat box. You know, you can make critters with this or you can just leave it as is. It's super cute. Now I'm gonna fill it up with some of this, um, you know, paper filler. You could put treats in there, candies, whatever you like, but that is it. So it's really easy to create. And you know, you could use this for so many things. Not to mention getting your hands on all those little critters because like, hello, you need those. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching and you can get this dye over at the Jada Blossom store. And hopefully we will see you soon in my next video. Bye everyone.